Welcome back to vlog number two. Uh, kind of an update from the last vlog I made. I didn't win anything. I actually guessed all the numbers wrong and I won zero dollars in my, in my lottery thing. My lottery ticket thing. Yeah. Uh, if you haven't seen the video yet, you can go click. There's going to be a link somewhere down below where you can check that out. Uh, but it's just basically talking about the Powerball and stuff like that. It's, it's not relevant anymore. So today's topic, as you can see down below, is the five things I wish I knew before graduating from college. University, college, same thing, who cares? As someone who's been out of school for about six months now, uh, kind of just floating around, flopping like a fish, I feel like now's the perfect time to kind of gather what I've learned in my time as a postgraduate student. Is, is that even the right way to say it? Number one. You won't have a job the week you graduate from school. Like a lot of graduating seniors, they kind of think that a bachelor's degree gives them an automatic ticket for a job, which is something that I thought, and it was a fatal mistake in my case. Uh, I applied to just a bunch of different jobs that I probably was not qualified for and just said, oh, I have a bachelor's, I can, I can do anything you want me to do. That's not necessarily the case. It's actually a lot harder than it is to get a job and it was definitely a reality check for me. The courses you take in school will not give you experience that you need for a job. Don't get me wrong, there are some courses that actually will help you develop the skills you need to move on. Like for example, calculus may help you tutor students or may help you become a calculus teacher or some other math teacher, which you know, I hate math. But for the most part, courses are just there just to give you some background information. If you say something along the lines of, I'm pretty sure I'm qualified for this job. I've taken like five classes about the brain. I think I'm ready for brain surgery now, doctor. Look, just because you've taken classes in college does not mean you're able to perform brain surgery. Are you, are you crazy? I'm pretty sure I can do brain surgery on you right now if I really wanted to. I don't want you digging through my head if you don't even know the difference between a hippocampus and an amygdala is. Wait, hippo what? You, you need to stop, right? I'm gonna call security. You know what, I'm calling security. You're crazy, wait, you're crazy. Wait, wait, don't, don't, no, no. Yeah, we have a code 20. Send him to the mental ward. No, no, I think you got no, it. please don't, please don't, yeah. no. Okay, but, what's wrong with you? Then you probably won't get the job. They're looking for someone who actually has work experience rather than just knowing information from a book. Moving on to number three. The days are just gonna fly by because you're not really doing anything. A lot of people kind of look forward to not having to go to school or go to classes and just kind of enjoying the free time that they have. But after a while, it gets kind of monotonous. You don't even remember what day it is, like today's, you might forget how much time has passed. It's already January and I graduated back in June. And what have I done since then? And don't get me wrong, it is okay to do nothing after you graduated from school. Hell, you've been going to school since maybe kindergarten. Preschool even. So it's okay to take a little time off and to just kind of enjoy what life has to offer. Except if you don't have money then, which is kind of my case. I don't have money so I can't go places or anything. Moving on to number four. This is the one that drives me crazy, absolutely crazy. Whether you're graduating from high school or college or graduate school, I'm pretty sure you've at least heard this conversation at least once in your life. Hello? Well, howdy there, neighbor. About time I got to talk to the big ball with a degree. So, uh, let me tell, let me, let me ask you, what are you doing with your degree? I, I don't know what I'm doing yet. What, what do you mean you don't know what you're doing? You don't know? No. But, 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 you gotta know these kind of things, boy. You can't just go diddling around during life and just not knowing what you're gonna do. Yeah, yeah, I know, but... Come come on. You got a degree, you know, you, you're like a million dollars in debt, you gotta at least know something. Come on, you got a degree, man. Yes, I know I graduated with a degree, and I should be looking for a job, but I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Why are you being a liar, man? Why, why do you Why do you want to do... I, I mean, I have an idea. You do have an idea, okay? Well, you know what? You should take that idea and put it into focus. Put it into Who motion. Who are you, by the way? What? what? Uh, I'm a salesman, I man. I get my number. I'm just trying to sell you some products, man. You know, those no. kind of illegal products. You interested? No, I'm not interested in buying them. Are you sure? What's wrong it with seems you? like you're a little bit tense. I think I can get you some, some no. of those products, especially if you don't know no. what you're gonna do with your life. Come on, no. It's not the most fun conversation to have. 
In fact, it's probably one of the most demoralizing if you don't have any clue what you're doing. So PSA for the older generation out there, just uh, take it easy, why don't you? Huh? Okay. Just kidding. Ask. And lastly, number five. Do what your heart tells you to do, not what your degree tells you to do. Of course, this is the one that you hear about the most. Follow your passions, do what your heart tells you to do, and for a lot of cases, people don't necessarily get the chance to do that. Just because you graduate with a certain degree doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna be stuck in that field forever. For example, I graduated with cognitive psychology, uh, I'm not gonna be a psychologist, I'm not gonna be a brain surgeon, I'm not gonna do anything neuroscience related. In fact, I just wanna work in a school environment. Maybe a counselor, maybe work with students with learning differences. I'm still figuring that out for myself. Uh, but I know for sure I don't want to be a psychologist or anything really psych related. I mean it does... Yeah, I mean, yeah, I do kind of, but... I don't want to be a psychologist, that's what I'm getting at. For those of you who are majoring in something you are passionate about, then good for you. You know, whether it be something on the arts, or maybe you really just love math, or maybe you love engineering or science then go you, you know? Good job doing what you want to do. But if you're on that boat, just like I am, where you're not really sure what you wanted to do, and you know your degree isn't really the clear-cut way for you to do it, there's always going to be a way to get there. Sometimes it doesn't even need to take the form of a job. For example, I'm volunteering at the San Diego Humane Society. Uh, it has nothing to do with my major at all, but it's just, you know, I love animals, and it's just something that I can give some free time to and just enjoy. Follow your heart, and you eventually will do something you love, and that's something I wish I knew right when I graduated from school. But I didn't. Until now. Or a few months ago. Whatever. So anyway, that's it for my video today. Like, share, subscribe, all that stuff that YouTubers say. Uh, you don't have to do that, but if you want to like it, you can. Subscribe though. Uh, I have lots of covers coming out soon. I have vlogs, skits that I want to do. So you should actually subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, you can have a good day and do great things in the world. Pick up some trash or something, because we live in a dirty place. We live in a dirty place. Peace. Oh! Anyway, so I'm going to talk about... Ugh. Anyway, so I'm going to talk about something a little more different today. I'm going to be talking... Ugh. No... I give you the best brain surgeon in the world. Like, you... I can't. Moving on to number two. I don't know why this one's doing it there. Number two. There are definitely some classes out there, especially in some in my main, own main. I don't want you poking my head if you don't know what's going. <laughs> and lastly, numero number five. Numero number five.